What's good, Madden family? Your boy J Money Good is back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team Coin Making Method video. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the weekly wild cards. Uh, our packs did get refreshed. I was waiting for the pack refresh. Before I could go on with my video, you can see we do have what's it say, twenty dollar uh, pack for two ninety four pluses. Probably expect a bare minimum out of those bad boys. They got a bundle right there. All right, so let's go ahead, man. Let's go to our select offers, and we should have our weekly wild card packs right here. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna rip all of these packs, man. But I want to talk about the coin making real fast. Now, do me a favor, guys. Look down. Smack the thumbs up. Be a part of the Money Squad. Stay up to date with all the best coin making tips and tricks uh, when they are available in Madden 23. So, let's come down here, guys. We're going to go to weekly wild card sets. Okay? So, uh, every week it seems that there's usually one of these cards that are very, very profitable to build. Right? Now, just like... Um, team of the week and I told you guys this is just like a replacement for team of the week right so uh, last week it was this Jalen Smith you were able to sit there and snipe and build up the 94s uh, build up the lower pieces uh, to build all the way up to this Jalen Smith and he was like anywhere from like you know 50 to 200k profitable depending on how good you sniped and how well you build up right so um, this week we got George Pickens right who's probably gonna go for a grip to be honest Remember Claire E. Lamb with his rookie premiere? It was cracked, right? So I'm expecting this to be a very good card. Now, I mean, maybe we could plug him in and sell our sauce off, make ourselves like 600,000 coins, because this should only be around a million. And, it, and remember, when you do your challenges, you also have a chance to pull one of these out of your 87 plus pack that you guys get. I've never had any luck with that, man, but you know, it can happen. Chandler Jones, who looks like a thug, and we got Ted. Karis right here man so uh what you guys want to do you just want to see what where you have to start building up from in order to make these profitable you want to check the prices of each card before you do get involved these 94s are pretty expensive they usually go around 200k you can see look 228,000 coins for one of these 94 overalls right so you can see right off the rip that there should be some type of profit in building that 94 because a 94 should not go for that much at all, right? So let's go see what it would take to build one of these 94s. And I hate that the the fact that the um, the sets don't like. Oh, there's a Desmond Ritter as well. The de the sets don't show up the way we need them to here, man. So we can see here. Look, they're going for around 50, 60k. So 6, 12, 18. So that's 180, right? 180. Uh, 190, 204,000 coins right now to go ahead and build that. So it looks like we're going to have to start all the way down at the 91 overalls if you want to go ahead and make profit from these sets. So you're going to have to come down and you're going to have to see what it takes to go ahead and build a 91. Now it might even be 87s. Let's see what 87s. So 87s, 369, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. About 16k right here for a 91 because of the 80 overall field pass. So, uh, but you, you're gonna take an, keep an eye on this throughout the week, right? See what you guys have to build up. Here goes a 91 right here. A 91 takes oh, it takes 88s, right? Okay, so 88s. Let's see. So look, these are about 10k as well. So 10, 20, 30. 40k so you probably want to go over to the auction house and start sniping here right i mean right now you can build them for around forty-six thousand coins um but you know what i'm saying maybe go into the auction house and try and snipe the 88s and then build up build the sets and just keep your eye on this throughout the week though man because like i said you know it is profitable even some of these 94s can be profitable like this desmond ritter i think this could be a wanted card along with this david and joku browns haven't gotten a player in a while man so um go in there you know build up the sets see where you know you got to do a little bit of math there you know what i'm saying but we've seen that we could build them for those 91s for around 40k looks like we got our mcs fantasy bundle i, I have no idea what this is here uh okay so we got an extra token here Okay, so uh, let's go. We got a token. And so if you guys didn't realize, man, uh, if you watch the MCS, you should have a bunch of extra tokens. We're going to go ahead and open our packs. But since we got this, there is a new MCS uh, pack in the store. And I want to see if we have enough tokens to go ahead and claim this half back here. Uh, because, okay, okay. Uh, so you have to buy. 
Okay, never mind. So you have to go ahead and buy. I thought they were going to add the half back to the store, and that's what I was hoping because I still have all these MCS tokens. Um, I had a bunch of extra tokens, and I got my Tyreek one. I, I was hoping they were going to add the half back into the store and we could get it with tokens. So looks like you have to buy the bundle. So there's a bundle in store today if you guys um, didn't see the MCS. And inside of here, you could go ahead and get one of the 96 overalls for 20,000 coins, which I don't, I don't think it's worth it. I really don't, um, especially the halfback. I mean, you get a choice of 296s, and then you get the um, you get the um, MCS players. It's definitely not worth it. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't think so. If you're building up a squad, I mean, I feel like it's definitely not worth it, dude. You, 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 this is almost $30. You can get this for like 17 bucks with EA Play. And just sell the cards off that you get, and then go buy Budget Beast, man. Instead, because these cards ain't even that great. They're really not, dude. They're really not. All right, so let's get into our weekly wild card stuff, man. Um, but yeah, there's there's gonna be profit in building those sets. You just have to keep your eye on that shit, man. Keep your eye on that shit. Let's get into the weekly wild card packs. I I should be live streaming shortly, guys. Uh, I should be live streaming shortly. So it's 500k. If you could pull one high card out of all these, and you get a 90 right off the rip. So that's not bad. I, I always feel like I get decent value out of these packs. I've never hit a full one. I've never hit a full one. Uh, really looking to hit one. I would love to hit a full one out of here. Uh, unfortunately, I have never had the opportunity to pull a 97 out of here. I've seen it on my, on my, on my uh, timeline over on Twitter. Uh, me, unfortunately, guys, I have never pulled a full one. As we get 88s. But we know that these are super expensive right now. So we're going to use these 88s to build up the 91s. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to build everything up. We're going to take this whole pack. We're going to build up. And I feel like that's where our value will be. Since we're spending 500k, those players go around like a million coins, right? So if we can't pull a full one, we'll go ahead. We'll take all these pieces and build up. Usually I quick sell them and roll. But I feel like I lose value that way, right? I feel like I'm going to lose value that way. As we get another double 88 pack. Which is very, very unfortunate, man. Um, you know, we'd like to at least see a 90 out of the pack, right? At least see a 90 out of there. That would help us build a player. There's a 90. We'll take it. Mason Crosby, 90. And an 88, Josh Wells. Give me a 96 or something, bro. I want to see a high card come out of here. But I think if you're going to open these packs, that's going to be the best way to go ahead and do it. Take your pieces. Build up. Uh, build up the 94s. Sell them off. I mean, they're going, they're going for... A pretty decent price as we get another 90 mason crosby i will take that uh i would love to see a 97 dude love to see a 97 don't know if it's possible though let's we'll speed open this one and we got a 93 mario addison that time let's get it 93 mario addison now i don't know if that one's gonna go into the new set i have to look i don't think it does though but we'll take it man 93 mario addison we'll take it man so maybe speed roll for the win, right? Maybe speed open for the win here. Okay, double 90 pack on top of it. Let's get it. Yeah, I think the speed roll is working better for me than just opening the packs uh, regularly, man. So, you know, we're, gonna, we're just going to try and speed open the packs. And, and hopefully we clutch out a 97, man. Really looking forward to clutching out a 97. We're going to 90 and a 88. I've never did it. I mean, hopefully we can do it sometime this year right hopefully we can do it sometime um this year so we'll have to go over the player stats and then we'll be live streaming shortly i have to get more training guys for roles we get a 91 there billy turner and an 88 so okay so we're getting value out of these packs i mean 50k a 90 goes for about 40k right now so i mean 50k for a 90 isn't bad i feel like we did pretty well right i feel like we did pretty well overall we only had a couple packs that were 88s all the way 88s all the way through so look double 88s there so not the best not the worst uh we spent 500k and uh that that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my pieces i'm gonna build up i think man i think that's just the move i don't know how much we could build up i mean they're very very extensive sets i know that they're they're that you can make coins out of because i was doing it a while back kind of got away from it because of like how much you have to put into it man it, it's a lot of work it really is a lot of work man so um yeah i'm gonna build up i'll build up off cam so we almost have enough for a 94 here i, th I guess you could build any 94 uh that'd be cool if, if you got the 94s back after you did the set right that'd be like super super cracked um so we need a couple 91s it looks like 
We can use our 88s to build 91s as well, right? So they're going for, look, 66,000 coins. So I feel like maybe sniping the 88s. So building the 91s with our 88s and then sniping the uh, 88s is going to be better off for us to go ahead and build. But these they are very extensive sets. They take a lot, uh, a lot of work, but it is worth it, man. Ultimate Legend sets popping as well. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll build this off cam. I'm not going to sit here and have you guys watch me do all this, man. It, it, it's a little bit of a grind, right? But they are profitable. Let's go ahead and just check out their stats real fast. And then we're going to call that a weekly wild card video. Nothing spectacular. You know, there is coin making in the sets. You do have to dig a little bit. There's been coin making in the Ultimate Legends sets, guys. Just to let you know. I've been bu building Ultimate Legends and making profit since the weekend. Somebody dropped a video on it yesterday. A larger streamer, which kind of um, kind of screwed the sets up a little bit. Though. Ever since he dropped that video, man, it's it's been kind of ass. So you guys can see, man, look, uh, Chandler Joe is here going for 900k. I mean, they're, they're so expensive. These cards will definitely drop in value, though, uh, as soon as um, TVP leaves. Now, if you look at this card that, compared to my Amari Barno, my Amari Barno, dude, he is a savage. They're both 6'5", man. Uh, look at this acceleration on my Barno. Yeah, the strength and shit ain't there, dude. Uh, the blocks and stuff. But this Barno, if you guys didn't know, this card is an absolute savage. If you didn't get Barno, you're missing out on him, man. Uh, unfortunately, if you didn't uh, do your solos and stuff, you're not going to be able to get that Barno card. But I'm so glad I did. He's so cracked. He's definitely cracked. Here's the uh, LTD. It looks like Dre Greenlaw pass coverage right outside linebacker. I didn't tweet out the uh, LTD. Didn't even see him. So we're going to want him on our team today, man. We're going to want this Dre Greenlaw. Uh, hopefully, we can go ahead and scoop him up. I mean, look. Look at the stats on this bad boy. Uh, should be pretty good in my defense. So, hoping that... Um, who did we have? Who's our number one? Yeah, I guess that's our number one, right? Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, definitely want to pick up Dre Greenlaw. So, we'll be rolling today. We will be rolling today. Look, he's already minned out at 400,000, which is crazy, bro. He's already down to 410. That's wild, man. People are ripping. I'm hoping that TVPs are better today. We're going to find out in stream, right? We're going to find out in stream all right so uh who else do we got who's our other guys that are new they, they're really good cards that did come out here's the ted uh Karis. i mean i really do like the quality of cards that they put out okay so they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna bounce this out man um but yeah man i don't know you guys can go in and check their stats out i just wanted to show you guys the pack opening let you guys know that there is profit in making the sets i will be live streaming shortly i'm just getting training right now guys so um I will be live streaming very shortly. This is your boy Jay Money Good Man. See you guys in the live stream. Much love. Peace.